My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some UI path. Today we will see how we can compare two dates in an Excel sheet. And if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all my new videos about RPA and UI path. So today's mission is that we got two dates here in an Excel sheet and we want to find out which one is the newer. So this one got the format of uh, the 25th of June 2020. So it's the month, um, day and year. And here we got the 5th of uh, February 2020. And uh, we want to find out which one is the newest. And it's of course this one, but we want to find out uh, in UiPath. So let's go to UiPath and first we will read the data. So uh, we'll drag in and read range and uh, choose the one on the workbook here, not the one under Excel. And we'll have to point it uh, where we placed our workbook. So we have to close down the Excel sheet first. So close this one down and we'll click the three dots here. And I placed mine on the desktop, new Microsoft Excel worksheet and specify what your sheet name is. And then I'll just delete this range here. And then we will create an output variable of the type data table. So go up here and click uh, Control K. This one could be DT input. And we can inspect uh, this data table variable down here in variables. And we can see that we now created a variable DT input of the variable type data table. So now we got the, uh, the got, we got the data from Excel into a data table. And it's nothing more than just uh, uh, having it in into a database that we can work with. And it looks exactly the same as uh, this Excel worksheet. So uh, we haven't really changed anything. It's just in a data table instead of this. It's still in the Excel sheet, but we will work with it in the data table. So now we want to first, we want to uh, read uh, one of these entries and check the format because that's, uh, we are going to use that. So uh, we will have an assign. We'll drag this guy in here. And then we will uh, create a variable again here. So go down here, control K, we could call this str entry one, like this. And then we want to read, so this is entry one, you see, and we want to read this data in. So what we'll do here is that we'll, it, when it comes from Excel, it's a string. I know it looks like and it can't be formatted as a date here in Excel, but it's still, when you read it in UiPath, it's a string. So we need to convert it to a date so we can compare it to the other entry. So uh, we'll go down here and then we'll first we'll specify uh, the data table that we want to read from and that's the DT input right because that's the uh, corresponding data table to the Excel sheet and then um, dot and then we want to specify the row so rows and then parentheses and we want to specify the row number that we'll read from and here this is uh, the first row after the headers. Remember these guys up here, those are headers and here's the first entry. So this is the first row that we'll read from and it zero index, so this is row zero. So um, let me open the expression editor up here. It's a bit more easy to see, oh, sorry. So here in the parentheses, we will say zero and then we wanna specify which column we wanna read in so we can pinpoint the exact Excel cell. So this is the column that's called date. And it's also the second column. So that's column one. However, we'll just refer to it by its name, the date. So, um, and that's the item parentheses and then uh, quotation marks. And remember to spell it correctly like this. And then we will have it to a string. So now we convert it. When we read from Excel, we read it as an object and we convert it to a string. So click OK here and we can see er, now here that um, there's some error and that's because in the variables we need to change this one to a string. So now it's a generic value and we just need to change this to a string then this error will be gone. So uh, now it's gone. Then uh, the only thing we're doing here is reading it and assigning a value to this variable and that's the value of this cell. Let me close down the Excel sheet and then let's write it out so we can expect the data. Because right now it, looked like, it looks like it's only the date. However, I'll show you in a minute. So write out, take a right line and write out this variable. We will run the file. And we're doing this because we want to inspect uh, this right line, we, we want to inspect the data. We can now see here that the data is of the format. So we got this date here. That's the one we can see in um, the Excel sheet. However, we also got the hour, minute and seconds. 
and that's that's uh, this format we're going to use in a second. So let us first uh, let us close this one down here, and um, we will uh, assign the other variable. Let us open the Excel sheet again. We want to assign the second variable. That's the uh, entry two. So that's this guy here. So let us grab that and we'll just do it equivalent to this one. So uh, we can copy this or we can make a new one. We copy it and paste it and then we'll delete this and control K again, str entry two. And remember, this one is the second row. So in rows here, oh, we can open it up here. In rows here, that'll be one. That's the second row. It's still the same column. We just move down one row and the same arrow comes again. So just go down here and change it to a string like this. So now we got both variables in and we can start to um, play a little with them because if we want to compare these two guys uh, to each other, then they got to be of the format uh, date time. And right now they're strings, so we can't really compare them. So uh, let's convert our strings to dates. And for that, we will use another sign. We're actually done with this, however, we can uh, delete it or we can let it be. I'll just let it be here so I can save the workflow for you and you can see it later. So we'll uh, have another assign and so control K again and this one we could call it date entry one. So this one is a uh, we'll convert this string up here to a date time and for that we will need to go down to variables again and uh, now we can see it's a generic value here so we will change it and we will change it to a date time so browse for types I know it was there but I'll just show you how to find it so date time we will write here and under system uh, m scorelib 4 point something system take the date time here there's a lot of date time things here but remember to take this one so click OK and now we changed it to the variable that we can work with. So now we just need to convert this guy up here to a date. And we will do that uh, by typing in the .net uh, command here. We'll open the expression editor. And that will be the date time here, pass exact. And then we will uh, have a point of these and it even says what we are going to do here. So first we want to specify what's going in. And that's the str entry one, like this, then comma. And then we want to specify what format this is in. And remember, we just printed out the format here in output. So that's why we, uh, we use that. So um, quotation marks, and it was month, month. And that's uh, big M's. And then there was a, a forward slash here. And then we will have the day, day and year 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 and if it was the other way around that the day was first then we'll we could change these and if there was not a forward slash it was like this we just type that in so here we'll specify what format our uh, ingoing data is in and remember we also had uh, our minutes and seconds to it and even though you can see it in an excel sheet it's still there so we'll need to specify that as well our hour and small m's that's minutes and seconds so now we specify the ingoing data then um, we'll have a comma and we'll have the uh, provider and that will be um, the one that we always write so system globalization culture info like this and then invariant culture so uh, this one uh, will do now we uh, have eff effectively converted our string to a date time and we'll do the same with uh, the second string so we can compare them so remember these two guys that they are strings and we now convert convert them to date so we can compare them so uh, let's just uh, copy this and paste it and uh, here delete this and create a new variable control k date entry 2 like this and up here in the expression editor we'll just need to change a small thing we'll just have to change this one to str entry 2 like this and then we'll have an error again and that's here down in the variables we'll have to change this one to a date time like this now it will work so let me repeat what we're doing here we read a range up here we read the excel sheet then we will take the values out as strings here and here. Then we'll just write out so we can check the format. This is nothing more than an inspection. 
And then we'll convert our two strings to date time. That's uh, so we can compare them. So now we have uh, the two variables in date time format. And we can just compare them by uh, dragging in an if down here. And this if could be something like uh, if date entry one is bigger than date entry two. And that means if uh, this date entry one is newer than this one. So um, and we can see here that it actually is. This is newer. This is the 25th of June and this is the 5th of February. So this one up here is newer. So that is true here. However, let's uh, have a right line in both places. So here we can say um, in quotation mark date or maybe uh, entry one is newer than entry two. And we can copy this and have an else. And this is, and here over here, it's not newer. So if we go over here, it's not newer. Let's try to close down the Excel sheet and run the workflow. <clears throat> we will, it's running now, and we can see that we need to be over here. Let's inspect it. And we can see here that uh, indeed our entry one is newer than entry two. We could try to actually change the equation. So if we do this one here, then uh, we're asking if uh, date entry uh, date entry two is newer than date entry one, and it's not. But uh, let's try to see that it actually works. And we can now see that entry one is not newer than entry two. So this is how you compare uh, dates in UiPath. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel to get all my new videos about RPA and UiPath. With that said, have a good day. Bye bye.